Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and this is the Word on Fire Bible. Alright, so this is the brand new Bible from Bishop Robert Barron and Word on Fire Ministries. It's the Four Gospels. Just came out. There's three editions. This one is the leather-bound edition, and there's also two others. This one and one of the others has already sold out. They just came out with this Bible recently. It has been a huge success so far, and so um, I'm excited to share it with you, but I want to do something special today. I want to invite a special guest in. This is my wife, Becca Wildsmith. Hey! Becca is a really incredible painter and an award-winning graphic designer. She actually won a Dove Award when she worked in the music industry. Mm -hmm. You can check out her painting, which is inspired by scripture and worship music, as well as her design work at BeccaWildsmith.com. And so I bring a lot of Bibles into the house to review, and I'll take them over to Becca and say, Hey, look at this. How amazing. And she'll be like, Yeah, yeah, that's great. And she'll flip through it. This Bible, though, when I took it to Becca, she took it from my hand. She grabbed it. She started flipping through it. She was, I'd say you were blown away by it. Blown away. So yeah. tell us why you love this Bible so much. Well, Tim does bring home a lot of Bibles, and I humor him, and I will flip through them and admire them. Um, but this one immediately caught my attention because of the beautiful art on the front. Um, so that immediately drew me in. Um, and then typically the second thing I do when Tim hands me a Bible is I will just thumb through it briefly to say how much I admire it. Um, but this time I did that, and when I did it, I was completely blown away by the content of this Bible. Um, it It is chock full of content, but not only that, it's just beautifully designed. So as a designer, I can appreciate um, the weight of paper that something is printed on. This is like a thick, beautiful, soft paper, bright white. Um, there's full color printing in here. There's a spot um, metallic gold ink that just pops off the page. Um, and then my other favorite thing about it is, is these authors highlighted actual pieces of artwork throughout the piece. So there's Caravaggio, there's Rembrandt, there's Van Gogh, there's Monet, and there's these beautiful pieces of artwork that are highlighted that then the authors draw in the scripture and talk about how the symbolism of the artwork is, um, is used to describe scripture. So it's actually really beautifully done. And this, since you said it's sold out, I feel like this should become mine. Well, there you have it. There, Becca, the whole goal of Bible Review Blog is to help people find a, a Bible that works for them. And this apparently works for you. This is a very cool Bible. There's a lot of great features. And let's take a look to see what they are. Okay, here's a look at the box. Really lovely. You've got that cover design here on the box. It's a two-piece black box. Nothing on the sides, but then here on the back, you have all the information about the Word on Fire Bibles. This is Volume 1 the Gospels. So I'm assuming that there's going to be more Bibles coming. You also get a couple of cards that come with this with information about the Bible. Really well done. This is just, in general, it's really, really well designed. So there you have it. This is the leather bound edition. There's also a hardcover edition and a paperback edition. The leather and the hardcover sold out very quickly. So the as of this video, the paperback edition is still available and I'm told that they are going to be um, working feverishly to get more of this and the hardcover in. So this is a, a paste down top grain leather. It is uh, really, really nice. You see that cover design in there. Over on the side, you do have four raised hubs. It says the Word on Fire Bible, Cairo logo, and it says the Gospels. It's got a nice gold art gilding on the pages. This is, because of the, the paste down liner, it's a very firm, stiff cover, but it's, it's also, you know, it feels really great to the touch. You get a single goldish, kind of creamy goldish ribbon. The size of this Bible is uh, six and a half inches wide at the text block and nine and a quarter inches tall. And it's just a little bit under an inch and a half thick, maybe 1.35 inches. Now, if you think about it, this is about the same size as a, a reference Bible that has the entire Bible in it, but this is just the Gospels. And you're going to see why that is because of so much additional content that they've placed in this Bible. So let's open this up a little bit. Really lovely thick paper. That's the first thing. So right here on the inside, these are some quick notes about um, 
the themes of the four Gospels, and they kind of lay right over. You get this design several times, this cover design. So there it is again. Here's the copyright page. So you see 2020 Word on Fire. More information there about what's inside the Bible. Then we go over here. Printed and bound in Italy. It's the first edition. There's their logo. All the information is here. This is the NRSV Catholic edition. That's the translation that's used in this Bible. For the Gospels, that's not going to be much different than a standard NRSV. And you have your contents page. This black and gold theme throughout. Information about Bishop Robert Barron, who's the founder of Word on Fire Ministries, and then information here about Word on Fire. Then you get a note about the NRSV CE translation, the Angelico typeface, which is a custom typeface for this edition. Really, really well done. And then you have a really cool about the cover design. So if you're wondering what this image means, you have a full information here on the inside. It's really interesting to read about how they designed this. It's really well done. And then you have an introduction from Bishop Robert Barron about the Word on Fire Bible. What he notes in here is that this is not your typical Bible. And it's even though it has a lot of different content, it's not a study Bible. It is designed for people who may be unfamiliar with the Bible to kind of read it with... Um, fresh eyes and a new approach to engage with tradition and history and church fathers, but also with art. It's very interesting. I loved reading this to kind of get an idea of what this Bible is about. And then this is his how to approach the Bible in terms of what, it, what does it look like to study the Bible? What does it look like to sit and to engage with the scriptures in a meaningful way? So I love these two things from him at the beginning of the Bible. And then you have the features of this Bible. So you're going to note here, First, there's going to be different commentaries from church fathers. So they're going to have that mixed in throughout the Bible. Then more recent author commentary. So you see here they have G.K. Chesterton, Chesterton noted. As far as the layout of the Bible, it is a single column text, which I love. It's going to have commentaries throughout by Bishop Robert Barron. It's going to have some Greek word studies throughout it. And then it's going to have these art commentaries um, to kind of draw in art from the art world and how it inspires it is inspired by scripture and how it can kind of illuminate scripture for us you see these full bleed pages throughout really lovely there's an introduction here to the gospel of matthew you'll get that with each of the four gospels and then here we get into the text you, you notice it's kind of going through it doesn't change it doesn't go to thinner bible paper it, you just flow right into it why the genealogy of jesus matters and so the text is interspersed with all these different pieces of content, which make it really interesting. So there's your first, the Adoration of the Magi. This is your first art piece as you get in here. And it's just throughout this Bible, it's, it's, it reads almost like a textbook and a study Bible and an art book interspersed together, really well laid out. I want to just show you a couple things that I love. I'm going to hop over to Luke chapter 15 because the parable of the prodigal son is one of my favorites and there's it's just such an interesting way to present this parable so here we go you get right before you get to the parable of the prodigal son the parable of the lost sheep the parable of the lost coin and then we turn the page so here's the parable of the prodigal and his brother starting at luke 15 and then you have the entire this was just well designed the entire parable here on one page but that's not where the parable of the prodigal son ends in this Bible, because then here we have an essay from Pope John Paul II entitled The Mercy of the Father, a single-page essay to reflect on that. And then you get Rembrandt. This is one of my favorite paintings of all time, The Re Return of the Prodigal Son by Rembrandt. And it, this is basically saying, how, do we, how does this painting shape the way we read this text in the Gospel of Luke? Beautiful. Okay, not even done there. Now we get a little mini sermon from Bishop Barron on the prodigal son, a, 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 something we can read to study even deeper. There's a Greek word study in there. There's another one. This is several pages. So here we have the few verses of, this is page 400. So the few verses of the parable of the prodigal son began on page 388, and it takes us all the way to page 400, where we can just deep dive into this one parable. That's one of the things I love about this Bible. It's just a unique way to read. It's, it's not a full Bible, but it is a, a really great 
edition of the Gospels that allows us to approach them from a different creative angle. I love things like this as well, the full page scripture verses. All in all, this is just a really interesting Bible. There's not a big concordance or anything. You get to the end and you have some end notes for all the different pieces in here. Beautifully designed from a graphic design typesetting standpoint, the content that they've included, it's just so well curated. It's If I'm going to be reading the, the Gospels, which is actually something I'm doing this year in 2020, I'm, I'm kind of diving into each one of the Gospels in a deep way. This is a great tool, if I can steal it from Becca. This is a great tool to help me um, engage in a deeper way. I'm, I'm extremely impressed. This is the first um, edition like this from Word on Fire Ministries. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a Catholic. I have lots of friends. I grew up with friends who are Catholic, family members who are Catholic. But I've, I've heard of Bishop Robert Barron. I've watched a lot of his videos online. I have a lot of respect for him. And this right here is a, a beautiful edition of the Gospels that is going to be a treasure in our household. It's just so well done, and we are so excited to have it. All right, so there you have it. It is the Word on Fire Bible. I'll put a link below so you can see the official page for this Bible. And as always, you can see more about this Bible, read all about it, see great photos at BibleReviewBlog.com. While we're here on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind liking this video, subscribe to this channel, I would greatly appreciate that. You can always leave a comment below, and I would love to chat with you about this Bible and others. Thank you so much to Thanks Becca Wildsmith. You can, again, really you can visit her at BeccaWildsmith.com to see her work. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.